Hello guys, it's me again, Ammar, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna try to mod my Cooler Master H500P mesh. Basically, I'm gonna try to mod the power supply shroud so it can take a 360mm radiator with a 30mm thickness. I already cut the acrylic and stuff already into sizes. I just gotta glue them up and put some venting holes in it and I'll be good to go. And also, I will compare the temperatures between the two radiators versus the three radiator setup that i'm gonna try to attempt anyways i'm not gonna bore you guys with the draining the loop and so on but i will include the liquid metal application for my graphic card and of course i will show the thermal pad replacement and of course i will use the conductor nut liquid metal and of course i'm gonna use the thermorite extreme odyssey thermal pad the 1.5 millimeter thickness it got a thermal conductivity of 12.8 watt meter kelvin so it should at least help with the heat dissipation a little bit more than the stock thermal pad anyways guys before we jump into the video hit like subscribe to the channel if you didn't subscribe please subscribe and yeah let's do this Just right now, test fitting the um, the power supply shroud. It seems to be okay-ish, I suppose. Yeah, it looks okay. Just if you're gonna be picky about it, just a little bit from here, like a one millimeter. But I'm just gonna ignore that as long as this radiator is sitting there. And of course, um, I did some hole down there, so the airflow can actually pass through the um, radiator properly so yeah um, I'll try to glue it up and I will be back once my rig is up and running alright guys so I'm back after installing the third rod successfully and as you guys can see I couldn't install the another 25 millimeter fan on the bottom radiator because there was like no space for a 25 millimeter fan anyways i'm gonna order some 15 millimeter fans to install on my uh, bottom radiator anyways the testing methodology was 
to keep the room temperature around 23 celsius to 24 celsius while playing red dead redemption 2 at 4k with optimized settings by hardware and box and run the game for like half an hour and record the maximum temperature recorded on the software and i'm using hardware info to record the temperatures before installing the radiator after like half an hour of gameplay i recorded the max temperature of 48 celsius with the fan profile set at silent profile after installing the third radiator and using the same fan profile along with the same ambient temperatures around 23 to 24 celsius i got reduction to 41.5 41.6 celsius max recorded in hardware info after 30 minutes gameplay so i did another test where i ran the fan like at the max performance profile that i did for my fans over here by the way this software is really amazing and i really love it for the fan control anyways after running it for another 30 minutes of gameplay at 4k in red dead redemption 2 while having 23 to 24 celsius ambient temperature I got a reduction to 39 celsius max recorded temperature. So is more radiator equal better temperatures? Well, it's a yes and no question. It depends on your hardware and how much are you willing to call your components. For me, basically because my graphic card is overvolted and overclocked like a lot, it's better for me to to maintain lower temperature overall while pushing more voltages. But for the most users out there, Two 360 millimeter radiators for a CPU and GPU setup should be more than enough, assuming your ambient temperature won't go above 28 Celsius. So yeah guys, that will conclude this video. If you like this video, do the like, share, subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.